Di tengah perlawanan kuat di lapangan, analis mencermati ada indikasi junta militer terus dipukul mundur. When it is facing adversaries on the ground, it's it's largely losing. People are are, are defecting. People are um, morale is so low that it's 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 very easy for a lot of the ethnic armed organizations to um, you know deliver defeat to the military on the battle. Tapi aliran senjata dan amunisi terus mengalir dari negara lain. We've seen no evidence that it has not in any way stopped. The, the Hunter soldiers are um, are fully equipped with these the various weapon systems that we identify in our in our report. Contohnya adalah serangan udara pada April lalu yang menewaskan sedikitnya 170 warga sipil. Serangan ini melibatkan pesawat tempur Yak-130 dan helikopter serbu Mi-35 dari Rusia. Sementara senapan mesin dan amunisi diperoleh dari Tiongkok, Singapura, Thailand, dan India. Menurut pelapor khusus PBB untuk Myanmar, sulit mengakhiri krisis Myanmar tanpa mengakhiri aliran senjata ke hunta militer. Menurut pantauan PBB, Rusia menjadi pemasok persenjataan utama dengan senjata senilai 400 juta dolar disusul Tiongkok dengan persenjataan senilai 260 juta dolar. Pada saat yang sama mempersenjatai pemberontak pendukung oposisi dari Pemerintah Nasional Bersatu Myanmar atau NUG justru bisa memperparah situasi di Myanmar. The trouble with arms of course is because first it's difficult to get them into the country since most of the neighbors are are rather supportive of the junta. Um, second, I think there's a risk of supplying weapons to the um, resistance that um, could lead China to actually redouble its support for the junta and provide more weapons. Sejauh ini hanya Singapura yang berkomitmen menyelidiki hingga menghentikan pasokan senjata dan amunisi ke Myanmar. Although we we know that there are 254 million dollars worth of uh, weapons technology and materials have been transferred through uh, through Singapore through 138 distinct entities. Um, now I just I might must add that there is no evidence that the government of of Singapore was involved in these transfers or even that they were aware of these transfers. Pemasok di Singapura dan Thailand adalah entitas swasta, sementara sebagian pemasok di Rusia, Tiongkok dan India adalah entitas milik pemerintah. Dari Washington DC, Yuni Salim dan tim VOA.